So I was in Malouz um, for four weeks. It was a short transfer right before Christmas. And um, I was training a sister there, a French sister. So that was really fun. We had a lot of fun. And um, we lived in an apartment with four other, with two other girls. And um, I really loved Malouz. It was, it was hard for me there. Um, but I loved it. And there were the most beautiful Christmas markets, and I loved the members. They were definitely my favorite part of Malou's. Um, but it was right on the border of Germany, so you had all of that culture too kind of, you know, spilling over into the area we were in. There was a German couple, and they were very sweet. I don't think he was German, but she was, so she would talk to us all the time about it. Um, and you would hear German on the street sometimes, and, um, but... Yeah, not too much, but at the Christmas markets, they had German things, and um, the, Al the it was the Alsace region that we were in, and so everything was all about Alsace and all about that region, so it's really neat. So it's smaller than Versailles, um, a lot smaller, I would say, but um, I'd say it's a little bit bigger than San Isaire. So, I mean, we... There were definitely a lot of people, and it was a ward, it wasn't a branch, so it was a good size. I liked it. <laughs> um, I mentioned it was hard. Um, I think that it was just, there were a lot of, like, men that would kind of mess with the sisters, and um, I remember one day I was on an exchange with my STL, and um, we were just having a great exchange, and we hopped off the tram, and um, I was kind of telling her, I was like, yeah, I've had a few kind of scary experiences, but I love Malou's. It's great. There's nothing wrong with it. And um, we stepped off and we were walking and this man comes up to me and he just spits right in my face. And I just remember thinking I had no idea what to think, you know, and he just kept keeps walking like, you know, like it was nothing. And my companion was like, oh my goodness, like, are you okay? So she takes her family proclamation. She's wiping my face off. But I think at that moment I was so shocked and I just first I was mad I just wanted to chase him down and then I was you know like laughing because I didn't know what to do and then I was crying because you know if someone spit in your face it's not the best feeling but I learned so much about the atonement that that transfer and um, it was neat to kind of catch the smallest glimpse of what, you know, Jesus had to go through because, you know, people spit in his face too. And, you know, obviously my experience was nothing compared to what he had to go through. So I think it was actually a blessing, you know, the things that I had to learn there. Um, I think that I definitely came out with a better understanding of the atonement.